Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for July 15th through the 31st of July. Let's see what's going on in love for you guys for the remainder of the month. What's going on around my Sagittarius? Hmm. Six of Swords there. Having a conversation with someone. I'm feeling that somebody um, is wanting to work things out with you and you work things out with them. I feel like this person is probably wanting you to lead the way. Okay. Wanting you to guide the way. And may not be like initiating converse, conversation, but basically giving the okay, letting them know that it's okay to approach here. Okay. Let's see what's crossing you. It's a Knight of Cups. Hmm. Knight of Cups is, is you know, fast action. Um, free with emotion going for something that that you really and truly want you know I'm getting the sense that um, even though you want to talk to someone uh, about a certain issue that it's almost like you're doing it just to kind of placate this person but I feel like there is there are other things that that you really truly want and this may not truly be it okay let's see the underlying issue is here for Sagittarius the king of pentacles hmm You know, whoever this person is, I feel that you're dealing with, they may not be the ideal person for you, what you believe. Um, I'm feeling like this person is not as serious as you would like for them to be. Maybe they're not at a point in their life where they're as stable as you would like for your partner to be. So, um that is an issue here maybe this person is you feel is a commitment phobe or they're not um commitment material here some cards just flipped over here we have the ace of pentacles the world and the page of swords yeah you know there's definitely some things that you've learned in this situation. I feel that um, right now, even though you're having a conversation or somebody's wanting to have a conversation with you and vice versa, you're ready to start over. You are exploring or want to explore other opportunities that have a, a more uh, stable foundation at this point and I feel that this connection um, that you're currently involved in may not be as stable as you would like let's see in the recent past yeah the Empress there Taurus energy hmm. I definitely get that you guys have made a decision that you you are not um, entirely happy with and this may involve a Taurus Capricorn um, I feel Aries is here as well maybe Libra but um, and Scorpio but it's like it's like you agree to something that you don't agree with for real um, maybe it's just easier to kind of go with the flow with this individual, but I feel you looking for more. You're looking for more. You're wanting, you want it, you're wanting like to see real growth and potential for longevity. And I don't get that you're seeing it with this person. Let's see your crowning thoughts here. Sagittarius crowning thoughts. 
Seven of Pentacles, strong Taurus energy in your reading. Um, your crowning thoughts are being able to actually invest in a situation that has a long-term potential. Um, that's going to, you know, you'll see a return on your efforts is what you want. That's what you're thinking about. Is this really worth investing in? Is this what's best for me, this situation? Because I see that you're wanting more than just compliments, more than just somebody that um, is in love with love. You're wanting something, you know, not at surface level. You want something way deeper than that. And um, you're, you're kind of thinking about that right now. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Four of Cups. <laughs> Just being there. Just being there. Not really being happy. Just kind of being like, oh well. You know, it is what it is. Four of Cups. Bored. Not stimulated. I'm getting that this person does not... Um, even stimulate you mentally let's see mentally emotionally um, just kind of flaky is what I'm getting let's see how you're viewing this situation I felt like something flipped over in there for some reason maybe not how you're viewing this situation that one wanted to flip the nine of wands do you want to continue Nine of Wands, do you want to continue down this road? Is it worth it? It's how you're viewing this situation. Is it worth it? Because right now I see you being in something that you are not extremely happy with and you're questioning it. What is the influence for Sagittarius? Let's see what this is. Another Taurus energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this person takes too long. I don't think there's like enough spark here, honestly. There's not enough attraction, um, whether it be physical, mental, emotional. I don't feel like there's enough attraction here. I feel like this person moves too slowly for you. They're like a turtle. They have to plan everything. I see you reevaluating your situation and what's best for you. I think you want to see some kind of um, spontaneity as well. Say your hopes or fears. Hopes or fears. Hopes or fears. Secrecy. You want to follow your heart as well. I don't feel if you're with this person, I don't see that there is um, great communication between the two of you. I see that um, y you are to your, you hold your thoughts to yourself a lot. What you're feeling. That's what I see here. You really want to follow your heart. And I'm getting that following your heart is getting out, moving on by yourself. If you guys are not with this individual, I'm feeling that their like talks are on the table, and you're thinking about getting back with this person, um, just for the sake of like getting back with them. Maybe you have history with this person, but I think a, a part of you is realizing that even when you guys were together, it wasn't the best of situations. And so it's like, do I want to continue with this or do I want to step out on my own? I'm tired. 
Um, I, I know what this is like already. But I don't get that you're discussing um, your, what you call it, your concerns with this person at all. Like your deep concerns or addressing what it is that you really need or want. Let's see the overall outcome for Sagittarius. Ten of Cups. I see you being emotionally fulfilled. I do. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if it's with this person or by yourself. Because nines are single energy. This is how you're viewing this situation. Like, do I want to continue? Um, do I want to really be in this? Do I want to give this a second chance? You're thinking about how you feel here. How bored you are. But there's something that you are contemplating that you're keeping to yourself here with the High Priestess energy. And maybe this plan involves going for your ultimate happiness. Doing initially what's crossing you, going for what really makes you happy. And not settling here. So something, something, you know, shifts for you towards the end of the month. Okay, guys? Let's see. Taurus is very strong. Pisces is here. Um, Scorpio, I feel cancer. And um, could be Virgo, Capricorn, energy, Aquarius is here. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.